Good morning, everybody. Well, it is morning, but hey, I don't know if I should say that or what. But still, listen, we back this morning. I'm gonna be fixing sweet bread. And that is the pancreas. It either can be in a cow or a lamb. Okay, I know all I know, my uncle fixed himself for me one morning with some eggs. And I loved it so much, and I had it with toast. So I'm going to show you this morning how to fix sweet bread my way, the way I like it. A lot of people like to fix it. Uh, they either can fix it on a grill, or you can, or you, either you can fry it. But the most places I have noticed, noticed that I have found uh, sweet bread cooked I think when I was over in Europe one time and they had it and and they had sliced it up and had it fixed so good and you know had sauteed it up and had it fried like and had it I mean it was it tastes good to me you know I like different things I like different kind of foods I'm not gonna never say I look at it everybody frown their nose up mm -mm. I'm gonna say to myself let me try this here one time so i can say oh yeah i've tried that you know it's don't ever like turn your nose up against things uh feel that you might be too good to try some things because some people you know they think they're too good to try a lot of things not me not me i'm gonna try it one time i'm gonna taste it one time i'm not gonna turn my nose up at it but i am going to try it because i want to see just what it tastes like okay so i have this here all ready to go i bought this here it's like three dollars and 95 cents is what this here was and uh it's like this oh, all this water on here can't do this here like that okay i don't know so there's certain things you have to get rid of when you cook in this and it's basically like things like this, you know, cut this hair off and get rid of this. Let me see here. Cut this on off. It's the membranes. So you have to get rid of all the membranes on it. Cut all that off and it has fat on it too. So we have to get rid of the fat, cut that off. See, right here, this is the fat. You don't want that fat on there. And see, this part right here, this is the meat, okay? This part right here is the meat. I'm gonna show it to you after I get it all done up. This right here has a lot of stuff all on it. So basically, we're gonna get rid of this here stuff. And I notice it. So it's something that you have to uh, notice when you're cooking and looking at it. It's just like cleaning chitlins to make shoes. When I notice all this membrane and everything all on here. See all this? See all this? You gotta get rid of all that. That's not what we're looking for. Because it'll make it so where it's kind of hard to do here. So I don't like all that on mine. I always cuts it all off. Because I'm want to. i going to fry mine up in the skillet. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. And see. Okay, that's got to go. And see, this is what you want. You want meat like this. Now, this right here, I'm going to get rid of this. See, this right here, I'm going to get rid of this right here. But see, you want your meat basically to look like this. Okay, this is a good piece of meat right here. So that's what we're looking for when we're doing it. Everything else we discard away. Cause 
Because some of this stuff, see all this right here? Get rid of it. See all this? Get rid of it. You'll see the skin on it? Get rid of it. It's no good. A lot of people, uh, I noticed they fry it, put flour and stuff on it, and season it with black pepper and salt, and fry it on up. And it's good that way, too. But basically, I like mine's, uh, I like mine's and my eggs in the morning for breakfast with some toast and some picante sauce on it. That's how I cook mine's up. And I cut it up like this. Let me get this knife. Cut it up like this. And I want it so that it's in bite sizes. So uh, I can pick it up in my eggs. So I'm going to get this here on cut up here, and then I'm going to come back and show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so I finished cleaning it. So this about how much of stuff came off of it right here, what was left that I had took off. And then this is the remaining part here that I have here. Okay, this is the part that I am going to fry up in the skillet. And, um, I don't know, I just love this. I just love this here in the eggs. Something I just like. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like once I get it in the skillet. Okay, so I have this. I have my grease already ready. And... I slice me up some onion, okay? And this right here is about a half a cup of diced onion that I started up here. And I'm gonna let that cook up in there. And I'm gonna take and uh, fry this thing all up. Because I have salt and pepper, and that's all I have. I have a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of pepper. No, a teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of black pepper. Then I have my onions going right here. Then we're going to take this and put this on in here and let it cook. Then what you're going to do, you're going to let this here fry up some. That's what it has to do. You have to let it fry up some. What you do, you want it almost like cooking. And the onion flavor is going to go all through there. And let that go ahead on and cook on up. So while this here is cooking, let this here cook. And then I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when it's finished. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it's looking like because it's still frying up. I'm waiting for it to get kind of start cooking and getting a little brown on it. See that? See how that looks? This is the way it's looking. So it's starting to cook up and get a little brown. But I wanted to fry up some and get a little brown on it. And it's starting to get the brown on it. And another way you can do this here too, to make it go a little quicker, you can boil it. You can take and boil this here to make it go quicker, to make it tenderize up a little more. Then... You can take it and put it in some, after you boil it, you can take the whole thing and just boil it. Then after you boil it, you can take it and you can put it into some ice water. And if you put it into the ice water, you can peel that, um, 
intestines and not intestines. You can peel that lining away off of it a, 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 a little quicker. And, but you put it in, you, you take it and you boil it first. Then you put it into some ice cold water. And then you cut away all that lining and things because you can see it too. Then you take it, put it into the frying pan, fry it up, and it may go a little quicker. Then do your eggs and things. And uh, it'll make it go a little quicker for you. And uh, that's another way you can do it. I have to taste it and... Uh, See if it's halfway ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, I put a tablespoon of garlic in here. So, you know, I got a tablespoon of garlic in here, and I have a half a cup of onion up in here. You know what? Season this the way you want to to your taste. If you want to put bell peppers, cilantro, or uh, uh, parsley, you know your taste buds. You know what you want, kind of flavor you want if you're going to be fixing eggs. I fix mines like eggs. I fix mines in my eggs. That's what I do. But if you know what you want, you know what you like. I know what I want, and I know what I like. So, everybody taste buds is different. Okay, you see how they done shrunk up so much? Remember how much it was up in here? Look at that. It ain't hardly nothing after they start cooking. But they starting to turn brown on the top. And that's what I'm looking for is that brownness there that you can see here. See the brownness on it that's coming in on it right here? It's starting to turn brown while it's cooking. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for all this here to turn colors. Probably would have been a little faster if I had a boiled it and done it that way instead of sitting up here cooking it on the stove. But I wanted to go ahead on and cook it on, on the stove because I want my grease to have that onion in it. But you could do it the other way and put the onion and stuff on in there and fry it on up like that. You can do that too. But I just wanted mine this here way. Because I want that brownness in there. Okay? Okay, so this is what I have. It's already cooked all up in here and everything. See? See? It's fried up. See that? I have it all fried up. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my eggs. Fry my eggs on up in this. Because that's what I want to do. Put my eggs in there. Fry them on up in there. I'm using five eggs. You know, I forgot to explain what in the devil I was doing. Because I was so overwhelmed by telling y'all all about the sweet bread. And I forgot to tell you what all I have to go in there. <laughs> I was just so excited about bringing this here to y'all. To where I forgot what I was doing and everything about bringing this here to you to show you how I'm gonna do this here. I just forgot everything. Oh, Need some more eggs. I'm gonna give me some cheese and put up in there. Okay, so I added about two more eggs, and I added some water cheese. I added about, let me see, is it a half a cup? About a half a cup of water cheese in here and things. That's what I added. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to let it go ahead and finish cooking. I don't want it to cook too much because I don't want my eggs too hard up in here. So, just going to let it cook just a little bit more. Oh, forgot to add my salt. Yeah. You know, this, this age thing ain't no joke. We don't need that much. About a teaspoon of salt. And black pepper. Let me see here. I almost forgot all that. Got to put my black pepper and my salt in there. I don't think about everything else. Forgot all that. There we go. Yeah, baby. That looks good. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm. This is where everything turned out, the way it looked. This is the sweet bread with eggs. And I got me some toast. And I have me some orange juice here. Okay? And, um, you know, I, this, is, this is what I like. She says, I ain't gonna tell you no tell. It's hot up in the kitchen. I don't care. Well, nobody say you can be cooking in things and it gets hot in the kitchen. I don't care. I'm just hot up in this kitchen. But I'm going to taste this here because we got to always taste. I like my cooking. I don't care what nobody says. I cook different. I cook weird. I like things like this here. I like trying new stuff. I like trying things all the time. You know? That's just me. But whenever anyone do this here, take it and, um, Excuse me. I had to take me some juice. Um, take this here, do this here, fix this here, like this here. Uh, boil it. If you want to boil it, I think it'll come out better for you. If you boil it and get it soft. Me, because it took so much time frying it on top of the stove. Now you can boil it first. Clean it up afterwards. Boil it with, in, with some salt and garlic and, um, you know, put you some seasonings up in there so you can season up your meat while you're cooking it. You know, you want black pepper and salt and garlic powder or onion powder. Or cut you some onion up in there. Cut you some bell pepper up in there. Put some oregano up in there. Put whatever you want to in that water and let it cook. And then after that, take it, clean it up. Clean it up, dice it up, fry it on top of the stove, some and some onion and stuff. Fry it on top of the stove and then put your eggs and cheese. If you want cheese in it, fine, put it in there. If you don't, you don't. You don't have to let it cook up the way I let it cook up because it'll be already halfway cooked. You can, let, you can cook it up to your onions and things saute on up in there and then... Put your eggs and everything in there, and then, hey, you good to go. It'd be a shorter time for you, you know, boiling it and everything. It'd be a shorter time because it tend to, it tend up more quicker and faster because all you want to do is to tender up. So when you bite into it, it's good. Me, I put mine on top of the stove, let it fry it up on top of the stove some. I mean, not some, but it was a minute. It was a while. So, because it have to wait till it gets a little tender. So, um, that's it for today, and uh, I want to tell my young ladies out here, I know y'all looking for a husband. I know you are. I'm going to tell you like this here. Don't push no man. Don't force no man to marry you. Don't give him an ultimatum. Do, just don't do that. Be patient, you know? And um, 
Stop spending your hard working money on a man when you got children. You know that first thing a man gonna do when he meets you is he gonna wanna know, wanna know too much. Want you to cook him a meal. If you have a child, and you gonna cook this man a meal, Sometimes you can cook some men meal. Not every man. You understand? Tell them to give you the money. And you'll buy the food. And, and if he say, why? Say, hey, I got children. I can't cook in front of my children and bring you some food. And stop letting all these men spend nights at your house. Make sure they got a place. Stop bringing all these men around your children. If you see you bringing a man around your children, he ain't... And he ain't giving your children time? And only giving you time? Something's wrong with this hill. Because if you work it, he can come and say, hey, I'm going to go get the children. I'm going to spend time with the children. Look, get some sense. Okay? Think about it. All right? Look, have a beautiful one. Bonne don't, 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 don't have me getting so upset. Well, I got to tell you how I feel about what y'all doing, what y'all young ladies doing. Y'all stop that. Stop it. Stop taking care of these men. Stop it. Because you, the man dressing better, you dressing better than the children. Children walk around there with flip-flop shoes, flipping all off of their feet. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I, I, I get upset every time I think about it. Okay? So let me, ooh, calm down. Take a breather and have a beautiful one. Bon appetit, baby.